What up YouTube, this is Josh from Next Level Gaming and this is part 7 of Beyond Two Souls. This level I believe is called Separation. Now in the previous episode I believe we were dealing with Indians and their curses and stuff and I don't know if I actually saved them I think it got away so I kind of messed up on that part. But the game still went on. I think this game lets you go on even if you... Ready? Miss everything. Oh, well, it's starting yeah. now anyway, so I won't interrupt anymore. Oh, okay, I'm recording. I can't concentrate, Jody. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. Hmm, it is an interesting one. She's got long hair now. It's so strange. Can you see anything I did? What the fuck? What am I to do? No. Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Open it. Speak to my head. It was her music box. Laura. Yeah. Nathan? Okay, I'll tell. Nathan! Someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's about. Yes. I'll be back in a moment. Surprised he isn't pissed after the last time. When she just left his ass in the woods. So he can so she can play pool. I uh... Yeah, take that shit off. We've had enough dealings of crowns today. Alright, Judy, what you gonna do? Hasn't Nathan been... I don't know, just like, acting kind of strange lately? He's trying to raise money for the lab at the moment. Maybe he's worried about it, you know how he is. I hope we don't finish too late. I have tons of homework to do. You know, Nathan's always complaining when I get bad grades, but he's always keeping me here when I should be studying. That's a discussion you'll have to have with him, Princess. I'm so hungry. When do we get a break? Yeah, I'm hungry too. We need to get Nathan out of here for once. Somewhere fancy. I'm sick of cafeteria food. Do you think he'll be long? Relax, princess. He'll be back in a minute. How does he talk and type so well? Do you know this guy who's come to see Nathan? Holy task. No idea. All right. You are uh, giving me boring conversation, so we'll go exploring. Hey, where are you going? You gonna wait for Where did you think I'm going? Just leave. What's what's going on, Nathan? You you look upset. Jody, this is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agency. The agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's going to take care of you from now on. 
You have to go with him, Jody. Today. But she doesn't have a choice. I don't understand. Why me? This unit belongs to the CIA. They've been tracking your case ever since you arrived. They know what you and Aiden can do. I'm begging you, Nathan. Please don't let them take me away. Hey, Jody, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand this is a great opportunity for you. No one can tell me what to do with my life. Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. Jody. Yes. Jody, stop immediately. Go get my things. <laughs> Only the essentials. We've got everything you need at Camp Perry. <laughs> Evil sons of bitches. Oh shit, it's already packed. That's awesome. Oh, uh, wait, I could be wrong. Is it into a tedious task where I have to pack shit for her? Wait, what the fuck? Make your mind up. Doll or what? Oh, you just want to give it another hug. Yeah. You're only taking it with you. That's one good thing. TV. <laughs> oh, you forgot your toothbrush. <laughs> she actually packed it. <laughs> hey, I have an entity. Mm-hmm.
was gonna miss the hell out of you, princess. I come and see you as soon as I can. I'll never let you down. You know that, don't you? I'll always be there for you. Time to go. The dinner. What dinner? Mm hmm. <sighs> Parts are jumping everywhere. Ooh. Let's go to this. It's Ryan. Ryan! I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Um, uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Great. I really like this game, but there's a lot of tedious things in it. Like the part where you gotta clear out the entities and the lab. Now oh, I get why you blasted fun. my computer. But you didn't want me to see Ryan. Yeah. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. We can start by cleaning Fuck this mess up. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again! I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life. You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of what happened at the bar. Fuck you for reminding me. Ryan is not like that. Okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look good. Books. Okay, on the bookshelf. You mean this bookshelf? Okay, great. All right, dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. All right, there. I'm cleaning up on a game. <laughs> Island the troll. Sweet! 
What games you got? She probably have a game just like Beyond Two Souls. Iden, don't be a pain in the Cure ass. Yourself. Two lives. The trash can in the kitchen. She just left the room messy. I've already started now. There's got to be something in the kitchen. An orange. find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, huh? I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. Not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Uh, uh, I don't know. I think the first choice is probably the best one. I mean, it looks suitably exotic. I'd go for pizza any day. As long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Thanks, Aiden. <laughs> I knew it. So good. Use a walk. Oh, crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming. Copy can she isn't even dressed. Uh, <laughs> Where the hell's the front door? That's not the front door. I haven't finished cooking. Jeez, I better hurry or we'll have nothing to eat. Take it out the front door. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan.
What do I do now? Fastest shower in the world. Christ, Aiden. Look, you just don't get it. What should I wear? Oh, hey, Ryan. Yeah, whatever. I just, like, threw these old things on, because... Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be me. I mean, there's no point in me throwing myself at the guy. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. I haven't even finished the food. What are you doing, woman? Confusing.
I have no time to do all that recipe shit. All right, add the sake for flavor. Oh. I think I'm beginning to like cooking. Ryan, you are gonna love this. What now? <sighs> Did I just miss something? These controls are confusing. this stuff. You gotta finish the food. Man. I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me and I'm counting on you. Hi. <laughs> uh, Chet Del Margo, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> Do 
your new apartment. It's my new apartment. <laughs> wow, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. The agency found it for me and all of it. And how about you? Where, where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. Yeah, it's small, but you know, it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. And did you, did you grow up? <laughs> no, no, I, I was born in Oregon. Yeah, my parents and brothers don't live there, but I, I moved out. It's nothing. It's just... Aiden's messing with us. Ignore him. Ignore him. So I should probably... You know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because... This cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure <laughs> for me. You need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine? It would be nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, Asian beef, right? Yeah. No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, well, do not get your hopes up because this is probably the second time that I've cooked, and I would rather not talk about the first time. Mm. Good. Good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what? what two years? I know mean, almost nothing about you. Parents, do you, uh, you still see them? <laughs> they just got the new eating after a bottle was run. Are you sure everything's okay? Yes, everything's fine. Aiden is just, he's just feeling a little nervous. It's okay, really. You know, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Aiden? No. I think there's something wrong with Aiden. Give me a second. Damn jealousy. So why don't you just go back to whatever ethereal fucking place you came from and let me get on with my life? Get out of here! Do you fucking hear me? Get the fuck out! Is he here now? Listening to us? Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. What about you? Do you have Do you have any family here? No, no. My uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Uh, Aiden's not happy with me being. I don't give a damn how Aiden feels. And are you um? Are you married or anything? No. But, yes, I mean, I, I, I was. Reminds me that my ex-wife and I have been separated for, for two years. Back to and, uh... Fuck, Aiden! I need you to just stop! Listen, I... I better go. No, no, Ryan, wait! No, Jody, look, I... <laughs> Aiden's very possessive. I, I think you gotta work it out with him. Jody, we need to rush it. 
let's just take some time to get to know each other. Maybe I wind up being okay with that. Are you happy now? You get what you wanted. He's gone, and now you have me to yourself. I really hope you're deliriously fucking happy. Why don't you just float around in your invisible world and watch me cry? I hate you! Do you hear me? I fucking hate you! I didn't want to drag that level through. <laughs> if I had let everything go smooth, it probably would have ended up in a fucking sex scene or something, and I did not want to see that. And let's jump back to little Jody. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> He leave that book. Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. I think the door's gonna shut on me before I even get out. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. Jody, you okay? I love Pam. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes, yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Nathan, what's up? My wife. Lord, they were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Drunk driver. 
driver. Wrong side of the road. They're dead. Um, Jody, let's get you off to bed. I need to stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. So that explains the ghosts. The mission. I think we'll continue the mission. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous the warlords in the country. He commands a heavily armed militia, using it to control several important districts in the city. Get it over which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Now, he relocates twice a day. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. Not much of a chance he's still there, but it's as good a place as any to start looking. You'll be on your own this mission. No direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. You identify and eliminate your target, then activate your GPS beacon so we can extract you. We need to get you out before sunrise, so don't waste any time. Now, the last American soldier that was captured here was pulled through the city behind a jeep. They found his head, one of his legs, in a fishing boat. I wouldn't recommend it. I'll be back before they even realize what's happened. Watch yourself out there, Jody. I don't want anything to happen to you. We still have time before I go, right? direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. Check that there are no soldiers around, Aiden. Yeah, this is confusing, like, how are you supposed to know which direction she's meant to be leaning, because... 
I'm pretty sure I at least got one of them right, but they didn't really construct that combat system too well. The only way you're gonna know is through memory, like through trial and error. You're not gonna know from the actual way it's meant to be. Time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. See if you find anything. Great. Now let's go. Let's go. Get rid of them. Zanaki Hotel. They've gone.
Ruin Cathedral. There's one not far from here. Should be easy to find. Well, she's got her evidence. And the camera's pointing that way, so it means that I missed something. Uh, I think. Maybe. And. Oh, wait, I think I have. Oh, it's one book getting done. That's just how I roll. When you play enough spent cell, this just becomes too easy. <laughs> and you could like crouch run so fast and this will go here. Like how is he not oh, even no. not? Oh wait, maybe he has. Still taking down one. I don't even know where I'm going. صحيح جبناء. لا توجد كلمة أخرى تقال غير كلمة جبناء. جبناء أجمعين. أنت تثير شبيزاز. من منكم يجب أن نقتله الأول؟ هل ستكون أنت؟ أم The cathedral. From where did I see it in my vision? They came here.
لمستقبلنا ولكن ذلك من حق شعب بلادنا I didn't even notice there was a body there. Okay. <laughs> dad. Someone almost did the job for me. Towards you. Don't don't shoot me, okay? He's lost a lot of blood. He's gonna die if I don't help him. Sorry, I, I, I don't understand a word you're saying. Salim, Salim. Your name is Salim. Salim. Jody. Jo Jody. Jody? Yeah. Yeah, Jody. 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 Get closer.
Come on. We gotta get out of here before Mars show up. <laughs> that rifle bigger than the kid. Oh, snap. Ah! Look, you don't know which way you're meant to be. What the fuck? This is so confusing. The combat is like so non helpful whatsoever. You want to wait a while? Oh, come on. So it's okay. It's okay. I'm all right. We make a damn good team, don't we, Salim? The sun is rising. It's gonna make it tough to not be seen now. over there. That's where I need to go. What have I got to lose? Doing levels where everything's all fast paced and like just like that, where you have no idea which way you're meant to dodge and do attack. It's kind of like the most confusing freaking system ever. Unless you're meant to do it on the side of the road, you wait too long, you're going to hit any of Maybe it's the camera angles they need to fix or something. I'm following the camera. Going straight through. Stay close, okay? Did you say that last time with the motorbike scene? Quick! Help me! No. 
لن أذهب سوف ننتظر حتى يتصل بك هل سمعت الانفجارات؟ أنا لست مستعجلا للانضمام إلى شريف لقد استولوا هؤلاء الأمر Like he didn't see George Take Lynch back in the truck. We'll try to get by it without being noticed. Where you meant to leave. Like that one, that one's perfect. But when the camera angle is like, oh, it's facing the opposite way of where you need to go. Are you okay, 
صايم طيب طيب لا موزبي اي ازا This is where we have to go our separate ways I must go Do you understand Salim La na trukuki yumkinuni al baka w la jani buki hasta ti u musahadatuki Sorry but you can't come with me You're really brave Salim Someday this is all going to be over And you can just go back to being a kid لك حدا انكستي حياتي لن انسى فعلك حدا ابدا Jamal was around here somewhere I don't have much time Lisa's mission is a lot more interesting than the previous ones. Find a place close to the house where I can take cover. Confusing me. You know what you have to do today. Find your mom, Aiden. Don't stop. You're close. سمير لا انت ذاهب يجب ان ترش وجهك بقليل من الماء To do it. Orders are orders. The guy's got blood on his hands. He deserves to die. Come on. I can do this. I can kill him. I can kill him. الجيش الموجود في الجبهة الشمالية أن ننقله إلى الجبهة الجنوبية. لا تسمع كلام. Open the door for me. I need to confirm that Jamal is dead. Hurry! Hurry.
Salim? Abi! Abi! لا! لا تموت يا أبي! أنا بحاجة إليك! لا تتركني! لا تتركني! He's your father? لماذا فعلت ذلك؟ فكرت أنا كساتيكتي! Getting out of here, girl. We move your fat ass. Ten years in the CIA. Never seen anything like it. Yeah. Boss sends his own private helicopter to get an agent back. All the top brass are crazy about you, Jody. You and Aiden, of course. 
Jody, you okay? Listen, I know this one was tough, but it's over. We're going home. It's just another mission accomplished, right? I'll never forget what I saw back there, right? Never. Ah. Uh. How's your leg? Better when this painkiller kicks in. and the international community had just announced its official recognition of the election of the new president, Jamal Sheikh Sharif. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. And now, sources report that he and all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed attack. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Hopes were high that the newly recognized President Jamal Sharif would be able to put an end to the hostilities that have ravaged his country for many years. A number of world leaders have already expressed outrage at what appears to be nothing less than a cold-blooded execution. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. <laughs> What are you talking about? Jamal wasn't a warlord. He was the president. He was the democratically elected president. Your point? We're not politicians, we had our orders. You knew I wouldn't have murdered him. So you lied to me. Welcome to the CIA, Jody. It's not fucking choir practice in case you haven't noticed. Now we had a job to do and we did it. End of story. This might just be a fucking job to you. Okay, but I don't go around killing people because some poor fucking star general tells me to. What's going on? Joe, listen, listen, you calm down. All right, we'll get back home and we'll talk about it, okay? You manipulated me. You used me to do your dirty work. What difference does it make? Jody, you was a dead man walking with or without you. I have blood on my hands. Some kid lost his father because of me. Because I trusted you. Because I trusted you. We were doing the right thing. But am I me, Brian? A toy? I don't even care if the helicopter might crash at any second, stupid. I can't I can't control it. Dude, for God's sake, you're gonna kill us. No one's ever gonna bite me again, right? Johnny! Fuck! Fuck! She was the one that caused me to go out and throw. Nathan Dawkins. Okay, now she's gone here off from the CIA. They used me to kill those people. Jody, what happened? I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I was just doing what I was told. Where are you? Is Clayton with you? No. No. No, I ran away. You can't run away from them. They'll hunt you down and they'll find you. You've got to come in, Jody. We'll talk. I'm sure oh, that... It's over, Nathan. Through being their toy. 
You tell them that if they try to find me, I'll kill them. Jody, listen. Tell I... them, Nathan. I'll kill them. That is the end of part 7 guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.